This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. The one and only a father on the recliner. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a hater of mine. This guy's name is E Ticket. <laughs> right? Okay. He, he writes a comment. He goes, the only reason I make YouTube videos is to make YouTube ad revenue. I could care less about the AMC apes. I don't care about AMC. Most of my content is not about AMC. Okay. So, you know, I, I, I don't even know why I bother. I should just ignore these people. But but it really kind of gets to the heart a little bit. No, I don't care about the AMC apes. Okay. Yeah. I, I invested 185000 Five hundred dollars at fifty three dollars a share, giving me thirty five hundred shares. Just that alone, right? Of AMC <laughs> should prove to you I care a lot about AMC. Okay, right? Okay, but you, we'll take it a step further. I've donated thousands to help our ape brothers and our ape sisters in need. Now, but let me tell you the difference because this is the things that people don't understand. When I donate money, I give it to you directly. You understand? Like if you got a cash app, I send the money directly to you. So I am not receiving any type of tax benefit. Like in other words, when Matt Kors donated, remember that? I think it was $10,000 to St. Jude. St. Jude, which was a beautiful thing he did. I'm not trying to take anything away from him. But I will say this. You know, when you make uh, 500000 in Super Chats off the AMC Apes, God only knows how much he made off YouTube ad, ad revenue, probably another 500000 if not more, and then merchandise, and you only donate $10,000. That is kind of, you know, I'll, I'll let you decide, okay? How about that? How about I won't comment on it? No comment, okay? But the thing is, he's getting a tax benefit for that 10000 because he's donating it to a 501C. Same thing that uh, our CEO, Adam uh, Aaron, did. He donated, it wasn't 1 million shares. I, I said that once, that was a mistake. It was $1 million worth of AMC. He donated to a charity, but it was a 501c charity. So let me let me explain to you how it works when you donate money to a 501c charity. Let's assume you make $100,000 this fiscal year, right? Whatever the case may be. You donate $100,000 to St. Jude. St. Jude is gonna give you a receipt because they are a 501c, right? Um, non-for-profit co corporation. They're going to give you a receipt saying you gave them a hundred thousand. You now get to send that to your to your accountant, okay? Who will let the government know you made a hundred thousand dollars in earnings, but you donated a hundred thousand dollars to a five hundred one c. That means you don't have to pay no taxes. You get to keep the one hundred thousand dollars, okay? So you're getting something for it. That's why. You know, a lot of times you see the big Hollywood people, the big stars, you know, like they'll donate money to, to a certain thing to try to make themselves look like great people, but they're getting a tax benefit. See, you know what bothers me? Why can't you do something without getting a benefit? You know what I mean? Like if you go to someone in the street, you see someone who's homeless, you give that person, say, a hundred dollar bill. You're not getting nothing for it, but you're helping that person. You see a homeless cat in the street, you feed it, okay? You're not getting any benefit from it, but you're helping that cat. These are the type of things that I do. And I'm not trying to, again, I'm not trying to make myself out to be this great guy, but I'm a Catholic, and I'm a Christian, and I believe in helping people. And when I help people, I don't want a benefit. I don't want something in return. I'm doing it from my heart, okay? And I, I, I don't see anything wrong with me making what did I make? Five hundred dollars on YouTube this month. I mean, give me a break, right? You have? Do you have a problem with Lou making forty thousand? Lou's making forty thousand dollars in the month of April on YouTube ad revenue. I love it when he says, "I don't make no money off the apes. I'm clean. I'm clean." He says, <laughs> but. In essence, you are making money off the AMC apes because they're clicking on your videos, which thus makes you money. So if they didn't click on your videos, right, you would make no money, right? And has Lou ever proven that he's owned one single share of AMC? Never. So did it ever occur to you like, like Uncle Fessa doesn't own any AMC and just like talks the talk, walks the walk, right, plays the game to make $40,000 a month? taking no risk, 
<laughs> That's why he's always calm. You ever notice how he's always calm? You ever notice like AMC will be, it's like, was it $23? And he's like, ooh, 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 ooh. He's happy. He's like, <laughs> look at those beautiful ducks. Go swim, duck, swim, because he's got nothing at risk. It's all reward. No risk, all reward. Okay, so I think the ape father deserves to make a little bit of YouTube money, all right? And eat ticket. Sorry, sorry if, if you get upset by that, but I have the right, okay? AMC to Pluto.